What's poppin', y'all? I feel like enough time has elapsed between the Nicki Minaj, Megan The Stallion beef, seeing if, not Nicki Minaj, seeing if Megan The Stallion was going to reply, which evidently it seems like she's not going to. And man, I think Nicki Minaj completely fumbled this. The thing is, when it came to Megan The Stallion, she threw shots at a bunch of different people, some were a little bit more subtle than others. We knew she was talking about Nicki Minaj, and I think it was premature and emotional of a reaction by Nicki Minaj to kind of just hop on immediately. And we thought she had a song ready, right? Like in the past. But after looking at the bars on this thing, most of them are relevant to what Megan Thee Stallion was just recently talking about on her song, His, which I was like, oh, you know, we'll see what comes of the actual song. And when the actual song dropped, man, this not only is the song like mid or no, this is as a song. This is lackluster. And like when we think of diss tracks, a lot of them have replayability. Well, not a lot of them. The good ones do. And this one, who's replaying this song, really? And I also think from just a optic standpoint this looks terrible too like keep in mind these are female rappers right Nicki Minaj has like a mixed audience but for the most part her and Megan Thee Stallion share a large demographic and they have a lot of female listeners the male listeners I think they find it funny and they also enjoy Nicki Minaj you know making the song about Bigfoot making fun of how big Megan Thee Stallion is in stature her alcohol habit her throwing guys under the bus like the baby and allegedly Tory Lanez I'm saying allegedly like threw him under the bus, not like the crime aspect of it. But she's like, oh, ran through this and that. I think dudes like to hear that because they like Tory more. Let's keep it a buck. I mean, who doesn't like Tory's music more than Megan's? But I think they're just championing for Tory more and they feel like he was done unjustly. So this appeals to them. But when you look at it, it's like, damn, it just doesn't. It's not a good look. And already we know that Megan Thee Stallion, she's been going on a sympathy tour. She's been the industry victim for the past several years. She won Grammys off of it. She won any number of other awards that I can't even, I don't even know what they are off the top of my head. Let's keep it a buck. She won pretty much because she was lit. She got even more lit after the Tory situation. She was dropping music that was doing well and it was just like sympathy points. But you can't come at her like that. And I think she could have thrown more shots. I think Nicki Minaj could have kind of played the victim here. And I do think Nicki Minaj felt victimized when Megan Thee Stallion was pretty much coming at her husband. Are they are they married? I think they're married. They're coming at her husband and her kid. And I think she's like, oh no, they're coming after my family. I got to go attack kind of like mama bear mode. Isn't that what she calls? I don't know if she calls herself that, but somebody's called Papa Bear in that family. I don't know if it's Kenneth Petty or if it's her kid or yeah, who? But then all these bars, like she's just dropping, you know, like you got them Grammys, but your flow is still a no. Like future made you pay. She want to party with the baby. It's just, this wasn't well prepared. Like we saw her freestyling it off rip and we can still see bars from Nikki. I think this is a testament to how good Nikki is because she was able to pretty much come on IG live and make this song in like an hour or two. Do I think she should have released it that soon? And pretty much the rest of the time was probably just like on production and mixing and mastering. But it's just somewhat of a highlight reel of, oh, you went on Gail King, you know, the Henny thing, all this other stuff. I think she could have came at her rapping. I think she could have came at the fact that Megan the Stallion was taken sly shots at her for a while. I think she could have also came at the fact that, you know, like she showed love to Megan or she thought she had a lot of respect for Megan when she was coming into the industry. And Nikki's kind of hurt that, you know, Megan would come at her like this when Nikki has showed, quote unquote, right? She's done songs and quote unquote, showed love to a lot of up and coming female artists. Just in the past couple of years, it wasn't a normal occurrence. When you think of like Ice Spice, she did a song with Sexy Red. I don't know if she had something with Lotto. She, she obviously had some with Coyle Ray, then had some problems with Coyle Ray after. So her record is, you know, she's been working with these female acts the past couple of years. And she actually even did a song with, yeah, yo, Hot Girl Summer. I believe it was the remix with Nicki Minaj and Ty Dolla Sign. So Nicki even gave her a super good look. Look, let's keep it a buck. Hot Girl Summer was a big thing. That song didn't go crazy. There's a whole, like, there's some lore. If you, if you know, you know, there's some lore between like us over here and the fact that like Hot Girl Summer wasn't originally a song and then it eventually became a song. But Nicki Minaj was on that. So Nicki Minaj showed her 
love at a time when really she was coming up. So Nicki Minaj could have kind of talked about that, you know, like brought you up with Hot Girl Summer. I did you these favors. You did me dirty because Nicki Minaj already in the past couple of years outside of her fan base developed this reputation of being a bully and also very like she's venomous like she's coming at people taking low blows etc before that she was kind of trying to run this victim narrative with the queen album i think it was and she was saying you know the industry's doing her dirty billboard this and that and her fans were riding with her and some people like were kind of looking at it like yeah you know maybe she's got a point and then more information comes out about her that kind of damages her clean cut character that people didn't think she was out here victimizing people and then she comes back to this it's just bad whereas like i said if she tried to position it more as like you know like i showed megan love and she couldn't even come back or she couldn't even like show some respect towards me and then she had to pretty much i think she could have threw some ghostwriter allegations from tori on there i mean we don't got to talk facts right just people are gonna believe it regardless you know she could be like yo i did some for you tori did some for you all these people i think the bars about her getting ran through i think she could she could keep those in there i don't think that harms the way people look at Nicki Minaj at all. And I do think it bothers Megan Thee Stallion. It's never going to be good. Like Megan Thee Stallion kind of tried to claim it on his, but it just comes across as, yeah, it's it's never going to be like, oh, shoot, that's cool. She got ran through. It, it's just not a thing. I mean, some people can cope. It's grade A cope, the way Megan delivered it on that song. I mean, it even sounds good. Yeah, by the way, you gay if you reading those lyrics out loud and singing along to those type of bars, at least. You got to skip that song. Or skip that part of the song. Now, back back to a serious point. And I think it was way, way, way too far when the lying on your dead mama part kind of became... I'm gonna keep it a buck. The thing that I remember most from this song is lying on your dead mama and her like making that noise multiple times. And that was on the IG live too. So if the focal point and what people remember the most, a good amount of people, obviously not everyone, is Bigfoot and lying on your dead mama over and over, who's pretty much an innocent party in this who's passed away that has nothing to do with anything not to mention Megan the Stallion she didn't say anything about like dead people dead family members I don't even I, yeah actually Megan did kind of like come at take a, a bit of a low blow but not at anybody dead so if Nicki Minaj was gonna drop some bar not bars drop a bar about like her dead mom I think that should have been very light bar or maybe like a subliminal something that wasn't so in your face because it even makes me look at it like, damn, like, why you got to go in on her mama so hard? Like, her mama didn't have anything to do with anything. And she's saying, like, she smashed her dead mama's, like, what? Uh, like, man, it's just way, way, way too far. Whereas we didn't even see Megan the Stallion go too far. She just threw subliminals. And you really had to, like, catch it. I think most fans didn't know other than if they looked into the lyrics, which you know, were publicized later on. With that being said, though, some people are saying, yo, Megan the Stallion lost because she didn't reply. I think the smartest thing Megan the Stallion could have done is not reply. This is this doesn't warrant a reply. Not only does it make Megan the Stallion look like more of a victim again, it hurts the perception of Nicki Minaj because they're looking at it like, damn, like you're making fun of this chick that got shot and was like victimized and went through all of this. And she's a woman, too. And you're doing that so it looks bad for nikki i think megan the stallion won on a pr perspective and this is a brand thing like rapper is sure we can talk about like actual rap beef right nikki minaj won she dropped the song came at her with bars etc if i think even if it was a guy that was doing this they would kind of come at him if it wasn't drill rappers they they would be like yo you're going too far now you know if we're talking back in the good old days of hip-hop yeah this would this would slide it wouldn't even be considered that great of a diss song though so with all that being said i think megan the stallion took this one unfortunately like she she won because Nicki minaj scored on herself that's why and yeah it's wild but let me know what y'all think in the comments like and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you enjoyed follow me on twitter and instagram thank you for watching peace